Thank you so much. Chowang, God bless you. Hallelujah. Just shout it again, but much more volume, please. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This here is a very special meeting. I have been praying for this for a long time. And it is not just to receive the baptism with the Holy Spirit because I know many of you have got it already. This is for your ministry to come on fire for God. We call this meeting passing of the torch. Now let me quickly explain. The torch for the ministry of Christ for all nations I have already passed to Daniel Kolenda. So you won't get my microphone. But he is already an established evangelist. Who is crisscrossing Africa from Cape Town to Cairo, literally. Amen. Amen. Daniel, I thank God for you. Please come. Daniel, I prepared a lot of more. You know how I found him? The Lord spoke to me. The anointed must be appointed. And I saw that anointing in him. And he's a fantastic carrier of this message, of this, the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would like to pray for him myself. So that he may go forth in the power of his might. Amen. Amen. So he is the president, the new president of Christ for Nations already for years. The old passes, the old Sifan passes. And the new Sifan is born. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he will carry that torch. I want to pray. Stretch your hand out to Daniel, please. Lord. I want to thank you for Daniel Kolenda. You have called them with a holy call. You have already established him as the leader and the head of Christ for all nations. And Lord, with this prayer, I bless him. And I thank you that he will have it, have the blessing of the old imparted to the new. And you will do signs and wonders and save millions of people. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, sorry. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm so happy to see you all. So many I know. And so many are very personal friends of mine. This book I have written for today. And we have printed 300,000 copies. But they are still in customs. But you all get it free of charge. Amen. Amen. Free of charge. Are you happy? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, maybe. Let's. Have, have you Yesterday I spoke about the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 2. And uh, the chapter two. And today I want to just show you, yes, you may be seated. Today I want to show you another angle. Of the same truth. And connect it with the Great Commission. This is more than a prayer meeting. This is a receiving meeting. We are not pleading, we are receiving. Because Jesus has come. To give. And the key to it all became the baptism and the Holy Spirit. Now, Matthew 3, verse 11. Here, John the Baptist is speaking. When he baptized the people in Jordan. And this is what he said. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. This is the first time we find this a phrase in the New Testament. He, Jesus, Jesus, the anointed one, the Messiah, 
will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. There was a difference between the baptism of John and the baptism of Jesus. They were both baptizers. One stood in the river of Jordan and baptized, that means immerse people unto repentance. And uh, that's why some people still think that uh, Christianity is wet and cold. Well, he pointed out Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of God, who would also baptize, but not baptize in the river of water. Their water. Here fire. Jesus would stand in the river of fire. The river of the Holy Spirit. And baptized people, that means dipped under into the fire, the holy fire of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, Jesus is here today. And he's going to beckon us. He's here to beckon us. To baptize us in that river of fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've used this illustration many times, but I think it's the best of all. The word baptism means to immerse or to dip under. Today, it's a religious word. But in olden ancient times, it was a common word. It was used by the dyers. There were dyeing fabrics. And here comes the dyer. He takes the cloth and dips it into the dye. Let's say from gray to yellow. And then he dips it slowly into the dye. And when the cloth is in the dye, the dye comes into the cloth. This is fantastic. When the dye pulls out his garment, surprise, surprise. The color has changed. It's different. Completely different. And Jesus is here to put his arm around you today, here this morning. And he will take you. And he will dip you into that liquid fire called Holy Spirit. And 
And when you are for a brief moment dipped into that fire, wow, then you will be in the fire and the fire will be in you. Oh, I like this. Our very personality will be soaked in the fire of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People can feel it and can sense it. The fire of the Holy Spirit. Here is anointed of the Lord. Soaked. Absolutely penetrated by that fire. We have the character of God. We are different to the world. And we are hot. We are hot. My wife and I were in a shop. Not too long ago. And we were looking for a bakery items. And uh, suddenly somebody brushed me from behind. I, a man I didn't know at all. And he started to cry. I said, I can feel the power of God. Oh, may we all be such points of contact. Do you want that? Glory to God in the highest. Now, here comes something very special. After the baptism, Jesus will lead you out and there you are. You, you look like Jesus. You are, you have his character. Everything, you look like Jesus. And you go. Oh, I got the law. And look, lo and behold, as you go, you are dripping fire. On Dina levels in law. You are dripping this fire. Wherever you go, Amen. Ami. Dripping that power. If you go a few steps, every devil in town will know that the anointed fire baptized men and women have arrived. And we are here like Jesus was to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, some Bye. always think they are not good enough or who knows what. Day of Pentecost. We know there were 120 people. 120. Mary was also there, oh, men and women. Oh, and we know, as you know, that uh, heaven had counted all the heads. I'm a pay or not you want, Latimon Ballet, Oribu, and we 
Exactly 120. And then 120 flames were produced in heaven. You know it's it's not a lottery um, to receive that powerful anointing. It is not a lottery. Oh my God, how many received that flame on the upper room? 120. 120. It means they all received it. And while we are here, Somebody in heaven has already counted every head here. Are you happy? And a flame will fall on everybody. It will, it will. It will. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Jesus. We praise your holy name. Now, I feel very sorry for somebody who hasn't got a head. Because there are some headless people. But if you have a head, Jesus has a flame for that head. Say I'm going to get the flame. I'm going to get the fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. On the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit fell, they spoke a new tongue. It says a new tongue. That's the language of the Holy Spirit. He gave utterance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what language did they speak in? Did they pray in Hebrew? No! Say no! In a new dispensation was ushered in. A completely new dispensation. That day the church was born. And that day the Holy Spirit came to save the world. Jesus. Jesus. If I have been there, my, I have, my origin is from Germany. Uh, and they would have prayed all in Hebrew. Uh, I would have said, what a pity. Uh, the Holy Spirit has only come for the Jews. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They began to speak in the languages of the nations of the world. All tongues, all nations, the whole world. This is for me the ultimate proof that the Holy Spirit is interested in the ethnicity of the people. And it connects with the Great Commission. If we go as we are, 
without the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The devil does not respect us. It's impossible to just think if you have a degree in theology, you have power over the devil. No, no, no. It doesn't respect your certificate. But he sucks. The respect you when you come in the name of Jesus with his nature, with his power, with the anointing of the Lord. Are you blessed? Hallelujah. 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 Praise be to God. Praise be to God. To give you a picture of the, of the um, extraordinary power of the Holy Spirit. Extra, extra, extra ordinary. Please listen. Lati for ni awura agbara ti emi mo to ntu jade bi ara eyi to ga lola to ga ju ima ede niyan lo bo fe ki o te ti sile dada. Paul prays in Ephesians 1 verse 19. Paul lu gbadura ninu Ephesians ori kini ese iko kan ti ni ogun. That the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know his incomparable great power for us, for us who believe. Now look, in the Greek it speaks here, this great Unstoppable power. In Greek, the word megatos is used. Now, the I use an illustration which may not be suitable, but I will still use it. When the atom, a, a nuclear bomb was invented, the force was so mighty. The scientists didn't know what measure to use. But then, they turned megatons into megatons. But the Apostle Paul goes one better. He doesn't just say megatons. But it is hypermegatos. Super greatness. Do you hear me? Super greatness. That is the resource available to anyone of God's servants. That's why I'm not afraid of the devil. Because the devil is afraid of me. Super greatness is our resource and dwells in us. And you're not just to receive it. Paul prays that you may be enlightened to see what you have got already. Now, 
I know Mom, Jesus is here right now. Mom, I know the Holy Spirit is here right now. I know that that super greatness is available to all of us. It is. Benny. Now sometimes we, although we have the power, we don't feel the power. But the power of God is hidden in us. It's concealed. I tell you why. Because It comes only to the foreground when it is used. Yes. Look at the sprinter. He comes and visits you for a cup of coffee. Sits into your in your in your lounge. And drinks his coffee. Can you see his strength? Yes or no? It's no, we don't see him. But after the coffee, take him to the stadium. Start the, uh, shoot the starting pistol. And you will see. He's running. The power is there. The power is there. The power of God will show. When we do something for God. People pray for power. But they do nothing. Nobody. Get power for nothing. I say it again. Nobody gets power for nothing. But today, you will get up and you will stretch your spiritual muscles and you will go. I heard of a preacher. I heard of a preacher who uh, was an evangelist. And one day he came to the meeting. Was there at the at the at the, sta at the stage, the stairs? And said to himself. I can't feel the anointing. I can't feel the anointing. And he said to the Lord, down there, Lord, I can't go up because I don't feel the anointing. I tell you, that was foolish. Because we don't always feel the power. I've had such occasions that I didn't feel the power. But I have discovered if I feel it or don't feel it, the Holy Spirit is always there. Hidden. Hidden and concealed. But he's there. I tell you what I did. When the time came to preach. I came up. I had my microphone in hand. I put the microphone away from my mouth. I said. Holy Spirit, I don't feel you. But the Bible tells me that you abide with me forever. Forever. And I am now appropriate the anointing of the Holy Spirit 
by faith. And I start. Start and I start. Hello and behold. The power of God sizzles. He is here. Don't go by your feelings. The devil has lying feelings. We have faith. Which is the victory. In our world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The less Holy Spirit we have. The more cake and coffee we need to, 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 to keep the church going. Well, I have nothing against cake and coffee. I like, I like both. both. But I want to say the Holy Spirit has no substitute. Repeat it. The Holy Spirit has no substitute. The Holy Spirit has no substitute. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, I know we are baking here in the sun. Uh, and and uh, my message, my message will open your spirit for the spirit of God. That is the key for the miracle, for the burning torch that you are going to get to go into all the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will flood this place in a moment. And if your spirit has been opened to the Spirit of God, whether you sit up here or you sit down there, he will not miss you. Nobody will be overlooked. Remember, ten out of ten. I want me. I want me one. One hundred and twenty out of one hundred and twenty received their flame and their commission. I want any of God. Only one by a hundred. I don't like in a year. But any official they want to to be successful. Let me see. I see your. Uh, is your spirit open? I would need to ask. Your spirit is open. To God's spirit, we have already made a, a big strides forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he gives you this touch for your ministry, you will never... Just sit in a soft chair to drink coffee. Oh, Gloria Because Jesus doesn't sit with sitters. He doesn't sleep with sleepers. But he works with workers. Hallelujah! 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 How wonderful! How wonderful! How wonderful! Oh, yano, 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 yano. Amen. Amen. Now, 
Some people pray for two anointings. I just have to say this. Because I feel it is important. They pray for two anointings. I cannot find that in the New Testament. I cannot find it. And I will tell you why. My proof. When, when the disciples went down the stairs from the upper room to the streets, None of them had two flames on their head. Everyone received one each. Amen. 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 I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit when I was a boy of 11. I have no other flame to support a dying first flame. No. This flame never loses its power because it is the Holy Spirit and we are here in his name. I dare to say if you get two flames it will kill you. It's too much. It's just too much. But one is enough to shut the gates of hell. And last, if you live 120 years, do you hear me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, that's a wonderful thing. Really. I'm asking myself when this meeting is over how are we going to, to leave this field? Please listen carefully. How are we going to leave this field? Are we leaving it the way we have come? Some people like their Christianity nice and cold. I want it hot and glorious. Say amen. amen. They came down for those 120 stairs. I want go for now. One shot, I'm not sure. La 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 praising the Lord in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You know, I mean, Amen. I mean, the people thought they were. Out of their mind. But the Holy Spirit is not something giddy or some drug. It is the joy of the Lord. Amen. 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 Now my desire is. That's what I've been praying for. That when we leave this meeting, we may go charged, fiery, effective, successful. Hallelujah. 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 I think. Peter and John were on the 
on the upper room. And they were praying and he was preaching and behind while he preached, the other 190 were walking up and down and prayed in new tongues because they preached together this way. And then Peter said, I can't stand it here anymore. This fire is so powerful. John, let's go to the temple. They went out to the temple. You know the story. There was just, just a cripple. A cripple. Completely paralyzed. Begging. So they put the bowl in front of the disciples. What did Peter say? He said, gold and silver have none. But such as I have, I give to you. And then the Bible says, he grabbed him by the hand. And that poor cripple didn't know that he had just put his hand into an electric socket. And the power of the Holy Spirit shocked him. Shocked him. Okay. And he was healed. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's not just be in prayer meetings. We need to go into action. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 I pray that everybody may leave here completely changed. That's, that's the only thing that counts here this morning. Amen. Amen. You need to change it. No, no. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going uh, over some of my uh, uh, preaching here because I feel, I feel we need more than a sermon. We need more than a sermon. You have come for the burning torch. And the Holy Spirit will pass you a burning torch for your own ministry. Amen. Amen. And here is the prophecy he gave to me. And here is the prophecy he gave to me. He said to me, your ministries are like your, are your chariots. Your ministries, yours and mine and all of us, they are our chariots in the kingdom of God. The Holy Spirit wants to come on board. He wants to take over. Some of your chariots have become very slow. Some wheels are wobbling. I want, I want to law. False doctrines have crept in. I want to get your mirror. 
There are the effects. Opolopo nkan eke ati aluma lo ti yo wole. Some have a broken wheel. Awon kan wa to je pe keke oko won en to je taya keke won. They can't go straight to the Lord. O ti fo be lo ti lo loko loko won oni won le lo so se mo. That's why they just rotate around themselves. E din yen to wa je pe ti ni won do yi ka oju kan na ti won jo loju kan na bi okoto. Get the Holy Spirit on board of your ministry. Je ki e mi ni mo and something is going to happen. This is what the Lord said. Every chariot will be renewed. Every heart is full of fire. And, not, and also something else. The Holy Spirit will change your speedometer because now you draw from power you've never thought of. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will not walk home. You will be on the chariot. In the mighty name of Jesus. How many of you are now ready to receive? Oh, hallelujah. 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 We are ready to pray for you. Uh, I'm asking Daniel Colender to come. Daniel Colenda, Peter Vandenberg, and John Daco. And we will pray here together in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Oh, go for long, look here. Hallelujah. Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit. I want you to come now. You are the source. You are the source. You are the source. Oh, Korea Sabala Bashi Antapala Pasai. Oh, Spirit of the Living God. Fall on everyone. Fall on everyone. Come on, open your spirit for the Spirit of God. Yeah, me, Renny Payafu, and me alone. He is already here. What you want, Nina? He is already here. What you want, Nina? Rossia Bashimalapo, Pilabakari and Dalabasi, Polabakashi and Parabasola, Miravasi Polopo Kataparebasi. The Lord says, you will receive. Open your mouth and I will fill it. I will correct your direction. And you will go to the nations of the world. To the nations of Africa. Africa. Nigeria. Nigeria. Central African Republic. Central Africa. Ghana. Ghana. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Zambia, Zimbabwe. Zambia, Zimbabwe. 
Kenya, Cameroon. Kenya, Cameroon. Chad, Liberia. Chad, Liberia. Morocco. Morocco. Egypt. Egypt. Algeria. Algeria. South Africa. Orine de Gusu, Africa. Parapatafia. Lebo Rafashi Kalalama. Praise the Lord. With the divine utterance. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Receive in Jesus' name. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Glory. 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 Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost.
wonderful Savior, wonderful Savior. Receive, 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 Holy Spirit, come and breathe upon your church service for you. Breathe upon your people. Holy Spirit, take the more the dynamic of your power and power on every one of these your church service here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you move, that you empower, that you fill, that you baptize, that you anoint. Breathe upon your church service. Breathe upon these your service. Holy Spirit, come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the mighty dynamic of your spirit of God right now upon your people in Jesus' name. This is no normal language. <laughs> This is not just a promise. You need to swing into action. Today, if you haven't got a suitcase, go and buy one tomorrow. And then you will go. And Jesus said to the disciples in Luke chapter 10 and as you go oh I like that he just doesn't bring you to the fullness he says and as you go heal the sick 
Cleanse the lepers. Cast out demons. Preach the gospel. Receive it. You have re freely received. And freely gave. How many of you have received what you came for? Amen. Thank you, Trevor. Shall we raise our voices? Let's raise our voices.